Okay, before we look at base 12 multiplication, Carrie, I want to look at base 10 multiplication to show you it's really the exact same thing, even though it's a little freaky. Okay, so if I was looking at this on the right-hand side here, base 10 multiplication problem, our regular number system, 683 times 49, think about what I would do first. I would start by passing out the number in the ones column, and I would multiply 9 times 3. And if I multiplied 9 times 3, I would get 27. Now, I just want to show you over here real quick because we autopilot the, uh, the algorithm because we're used to it without thinking about why we do it. But the next thing we would do here is we would carry a 2. Uh, two. Why would we do that? <clears throat> because inside 27, there are two tens. Two tens. And then we would drop the 7 here. Why? Because after we carry those two tens, what's left of that 27, there's a 7 remainder. Then I would continue that process, continue passing out the 9. I would do 9 times 8, which is 72. Add in my remainders, 73, 74. And again, I would carry my 7 because there's 7 tens. Uh, and then there's 4 remainder. And so I would carry that 7 into that next column, that hundreds column, because it's really 7 hundreds if you think about it. Uh, because I was in the tens column, um, 74 tens is the same as 740. 74 tens is the same as 740. And so really what I have is 7 hundreds and, seven, and 4 tens left over. And then I would continue this process, and I won't go so slowly anymore, but 9 times 6 is 54. Add in the 7 um, 54, 61, so I have six tens and one remaining um, in that particular one. And then as you know, now I would start passing out the four. Now that's not really a four. It looks like a four, but it's in the tens place. So that's really a 40. So your math teacher back in the day used to make you put a zero right there, knowing that you weren't really multiplying by four, you're multiplying by 40. So 40 times three or is 120 and the way we would always think about it is 4 times 3 is 12 and again that's let me cross off this old writing but that's 110 with 2 left over and let's keep going here 4 times 8 is 32 plus 1 is 33 so that's 3 tens with 3 left over 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27, that's 2 tens with 7 left over. And then we would add up everything we got from multiplying in the 1's place, which is 10 to the 0 power, the 10 to the 0 place, uh, with everything we got in the 10's place, the 10 to the 1's place. So we get 7, 6, 4, 13, and 3. And hopefully I did my multiplication right, because um, I love to screw up on video just for posterity's sake. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that, I want to take this and I want to carry this over um, to um, all uh, bases. Okay, so let's take a look. So it's important to know what your symbols stand for before you begin. So let's think about a base 10 system and the digits we have in a base 10 system. A base 10 system has the digits 0 through 9. That's the 10 that we're talking about. So if I want to go up to a base 12, I'm going to need a couple more digits. So I'll throw out an A. A will be the next number. You think of that like the new 10. And B. B will be the last digit in our base 12 system and that's like the number 11, okay? Uh, okay, let's start multiplying. So this column here, the units column, what we usually call the ones column, is gonna remain the units or one column right up here because 12 to the zero power, anything to the zero power is one. But this column is not the tens column anymore, now it's the regular old twelves column. 12 to the first power. And this here, it's not the hundreds column anymore, it's like the 144th column, the 12 to the second power column. So that's a little weird to think about, um, but that's how we're going to be treating it here. We're going to be looking at number of 12s instead of numbers of 10s. Okay, let me erase those and let's get started. Okay, here we go. First, I'd like to multiply 2 times a. Now remember we said a is like 10. So think about if I multiplied 2 times 10, I'd get 20. 
Now, every single number, we need to think about how many 12s that is. Well, a 20 is 1 12 with 8 remaining. One twelve with a remainder of 8. And so I'm going to carry my 1 12 into the 12s column, and I'm going to drop my remainder of 8. Okay, let's keep going on. we got to keep passing out this 2 here. So now 2 times 8, that's easy, is 16. Carry the 1 is 17. 17. Well, if you think about a 17 is 1 12. With 5 remainder. And so I'll carry my 1 12. I'll drop my five remainder. And now I gotta finish passing out that number in the ones place or the units place. So two times six is 12, plus one is 13, but re be real careful. Don't make the mistake of just dropping down a 13 right there, that won't work. You need to think about how many 12s you have and how much you have remaining. So ooh, 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 ooh. let me write down the number 13. If I had the number 13, that would be 112 and 1 remaining. And so I have 112 and 1 remaining. I have no, no place left to carry, so it just goes right down there. Okay, cool. So now we finished passing out our number in the units place. It's now time to tr pass out the number in this first column, the 12 to the first place or the 12th place. That feels so weird to us to say, but that's what we're doing, okay? so. Um, I am going to go ahead and erase the carrying from the last time so I don't get confused. And remember that we said a B was like the number 11 and an A was like the number 10. Let's give ourselves some space. So 12 times 10 would be a uh, hundred and Oh, I'm sorry, not 12 times 10. I just tried to mess you up, my dear. Sorry. B is 11 <laughs> and A is 10. So 11 times 10 would be 110. Now you think about, you have to think about how many 12s that would be. Well, I happen to know that 12 times nine is 108. So that would be nine 12s. That's the first 108. And then we'd have some left over there. We'd have two remaining. Okay, so I'm going to carry my 9 into the next column. And I remember, just like before, I'm not working with single uh, units anymore. I'm in the 12s column, so I'm going to have my 2 remaining right there. Okay, now let's keep passing that B or that 11 as we think about it out. So B times 8 would be like 11 times 8, 88, plus the original... The 9 that I carried, 88 plus 9 is 97. So again, let's think about how many 12s that is. Well, mm, let's see, 7 times 12 is 84. 8 times 12 is 96. Okay, so that'd be 8 12s, which is 96, and 1 remaining. Carry your 8 12s, drop your 1 remaining, and we are almost done. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, so again, B is like 11, so 11 times 6 would be 66, um, plus that 8, so 66 and 8 would be 74. Okay, I don't have a lot of room left. So 74, let's think about how many 12s that would be. Uh, 72 is 6 12s. That's 72, so I'd have 2 remaining. So six 12s, two remaining. And then let's add this up. Eight plus zero is eight. Five plus seven, two is seven. One plus one is two. One plus two is three and six. And I didn't have any carrying when I did the adding here because I never had anything that went over 11. I'd have to have 12 or higher in order to carry. Um, so awesome, 63,278 base 12. And it looks like they want your answer in base 12, so you're good to go.